This is an example of how to program a rectangular pocket on a Miltronics control. First we'll start a new program. From the main menu press F8 Program, F2 Conversational, F2 New. Now give the program a name. This name will appear in the parts directory. The name may contain up to 24 L4 numeric characters including hyphens and periods. Event 0 is the program setup page. On the Miltronics control only field in red must be filled in, the rest are optional. We can choose between inch or metric programming. The stock size is for graphical representation only. This part will be a 4 inch by 4 inch block with XY0 being in the center of the part. Now select a work coordinate and a subset if necessary. You may also enter in setup notes that will appear only on this page. Press F1 to store and save this page. Select F2 mill, then F5 for pocket. In the first drop down menu you can choose circular, rectangular, polygon, slots, and facing. We will use rectangular for this exercise. The next drop down menu is for clear or finish. Clear plunges in the middle of the pocket and spirals outward. Finish plunges in the middle and makes a single pass at the finished pocket dimensions. Determine a Z feed rate. Return point is either initial or clearance. Clearance is specified in the field below. Initial is the last Z height before the cycle was started. We will use clearance for our exercise. Set the clearance value. The Z down method is another drop down menu. The choices are either plunge or ramp. Ramp allows you to specify an angle of entry for the tool. Select a final Z depth. If zero is the top of the part, this value should be negative. Choose a first depth, this too should be negative, in order to cut material on the first pass. Select a depth increment, this may be positive or negative, the control knows to feed down. Set the XY feed rate. Define the pocket center. Define the pocket dimensions. Select a corner radius, this must be the same size or larger than the radius of the tool being used. Determine the cut width. XY finish stock is for leaving material for a finish pass. Choose a cut direction. Clockwise is conventional, counterclockwise is climb milling. Toggle tool compensation on or off. On calculates the tool path based on the size of the tool in the offset page. Press F1 to store. Press escape to the main menu. To view what we have programmed, select F9 verify. Scroll down to the program you created and press F1 to select. Now press the cycle start button. In the verify screen you can choose between 3D solid model graphics or 2D wireframe.